This is a locally made traditional gun which is used by many tribes. And today I'm in one of the best tribal gun makers. Let me take you to him and tell you the story. There is a different side to Northeast India other than the colorful tribes, beautiful people and mesmerizing nature. Especially in Nagaland and Arunachal Pradesh, it is a common sight to see men walking with a gun casually hanging on their shoulders. Many tribes falling near the Indo-Myanmar border of Arunachal Pradesh and Nagaland were headhunters just until a few decades ago. In old days, dows and spears were used to bring home the skull trophies. But with Britishers came the guns that replaced the traditional weapons. And hunting the heads became even more convenient. The bullet holes seen in the skulls of the hunted men clearly tell the story. The beautiful villages and towns in this area look so peaceful that it is difficult to imagine the violent past these hills and jungles have seen. Though this violence has now been buried deep in the past, but the remains still trickle out in the open as a reminder. Guns are one such reminder that still remain as an integral part of the tribal culture in this area. While few people use these guns for illegal hunting, mostly they are used in festivals to celebrate and showcase old traditions and customs. In the happy and fun festivals that you might have seen in my previous videos, these locally made muzzle loading guns are only meant to make a loud bang and no metal balls are used in them which can be fatal. Wherever I went, I was asked to fire a customary shot in the air as a celebration. But where do these guns come from? Still, some age-old gun makers exist that make these guns in their huts and some of them are famous for their gun making skills. So, with some local friends, I went in search of one such well-known gun maker. Walking deep into these beautiful villages, I reached his modest hut where the gun maker was busy doing what he does best, making guns. The skillful gun maker, struck with folio as a child in his left leg, efficiently used his equipment to drill holes in the metal, join various parts of the gun and ensure there are no mistakes. I asked him why his guns are the best. My local friend translated his answer for me. Single <laughs> <laughs> While working, he shared with me his journey as a gun maker and a beautiful message that will surprise you. Even the gun maker understands the harm that the guns can cause. With that thought in mind, I went to my friend's place to see the process of loading and firing a gun. The barrel is first cleaned properly. Gunpowder is taken out and slightly heated and filled in the barrel through the muzzle. It's made sure that the gunpowder sets in properly. A metal cap is put that actually triggers the spark and... But securing gunpowder for the tribes was not that easy and was also very expensive. To make gunpowder, 75% of the chemical that's needed is found in human urine. 
potassium nitrate. So the tribal started making gunpowder using their own urine. जो गंडा मिट्टी जहाँ में हम लोग पिशाब करता है और उसके अपने ह्यूमन वेस्ट जहाँ फेंकता है तो वहाँ का जो कचरा ये जबरा वाला मिट्टी है उसको उठा करके उसको आपका फिल्टर होता है उसको बॉईल करके बॉईलिंग प्रोसेस करके उसको ये आपका सॉल्ट जैसा उसको ड्राई करता था कोयला बना के उसको सॉल्ट जैसे जो आपका उसके साथ में मिक्स करके फ्राई करता था पूरा सुखाए गए सुखाने के बाद वो गन पाउडर के लिए रेडी हो जाता था But other than these primitive single shot guns, I heard some gun makers can make multi shot magazine loading guns. And to meet such a gun maker, I left again to another village and found a leader of a local church who had enhanced his knife making skills to make such a sophisticated weapon at home using only the basic means. I was stunned to see the craftsmanship of the gun maker and how he assembled some random wood and metal pieces in front of me to create a fully functional multi-shot magazine loading gun. Again, only empty shells were used to fire the gun. I found out that these villages have soft permission to keep the weapons as it's so tightly integrated with their culture, but they are not supposed to carry them outside their villages or use them for hunting. I heard that stricter laws and regulations are slowly being imposed, but to completely bury the past of the wild wild northeast, it will take some time. I hope No one needs to use these guns against any living being and they are used for celebration in the festivals only. And as a message of peace, today I'm not going to fire this gun. I'll see you in my next story. Khushiyan always. Today I am in a local. No, let me rub gun. के बारे में बोला था. एक बार cut. Ding, ding. Oh, अपना. आपको तो मैं daily follow करता हूँ sir. देखता है क्या video? हाँ, एकदम. Shiva talk ना? Shiva tells. हाँ, Shiva tells. हाँ. Always खुशियाँ. खुशियाँ always. खुशियाँ always. बंदा. कहाँ से आ रहा है gun लेके? घूमने गया था थोड़ा जंगल. हाँ, क्या कुछ मारा है क्या? नहीं मारा. खुशियाँ ले � आपका प्यार के लिए उस लेवल तक आपका यार लेकिन अगर ये वीडियो गया तो गया मेरा बस्ती वाला भगवान कह रहा तुम्हें जल्दी राजकुमारी मिल जाए तुम्हारी <laughs>